When working with terrains of 4K and larger, there are a few software features that should be used to help manage the workflow. A 4096 by 4096 terrain with an XZ spacing of 256, which is the default spacing, the terrain fills the entire OpenGL world in TerraSculptor. So terrains larger than this, or mesh vertex spacing larger than this, will exceed the OpenGL world extents and may result in far distance rendering issues. When you create or import a very large terrain, you may experience world extent size limit clipping, which looks like this. The terrain is actually extending beyond the limits of the OpenGL renderer. If we enable display of the world extents cube, you can see that the terrain is larger than the rendered world space. To fix this rendering issue, we will change the terrain exit spacing property to a smaller number. We will start off with some of the default settings that should be changed when working with large terrains. On settings general, if you have an SSD drive in the computer, changing the undo folder path to save to the SSD will improve application performance. Settings dimensions, change the range, minimum and maximum values as desired. These are the values that are shown on the new terrain dialog. Enable UDK Landscape if you're working with Unreal Engine 3 or Unreal Engine 4. Setting Scene, World Extents Cube Segments. Set to 4 just for this video to make it more easily visible. Settings Units, either choose Preset for Unreal Engine 3 or Unreal Engine 4, or set the XZ Spacing and Y Spacing to 100 if you're working with large terrains. Settings Viewport, you may wish to change the mouse speed and mouse wheel speed to higher values to get faster navigation across the terrain with the mouse. If you need to modify the terrain properties for XZ spacing and Y spacing in real time, after you have created or imported a terrain, click on the Terrain Properties Function Panel button. Here you can modify the terrain mesh XZ and Y spacing values. If you wish to view the terrain in the highest viewport resolution possible, on the toolbar select the normal LOD setting. This will render the terrain as a 4K mesh as opposed to a 1K mesh. Future versions of this software are planned to implement a progressive LOD system that can display even larger terrains, along with a custom designed big array data map for terrains larger than 65536 by 65536. If you need to modify the mouse speed and mouse wheel speed in real time, on the toolbar adjust the mouse speed and mouse wheel speed settings. These menu items provide one time speed, which is the normal default speed, and provide multipliers for one quarter times to eight times speed. Also, clicking the mouse wheel button will cycle through the mouse wheel speed multipliers. Most of the modifiers in TerraSculptor are fully multi-threaded for higher performance. Having a computer with more cores will improve the application performance, especially on larger terrains. To view the performance of the viewport rendering, on the View menu, enable the Performance Statistics. To view the Scene information, on the View menu, enable the Scene Statistics.